Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well out there. Welcome back to the workshop. In today's video, we will be doing some maintenance and a little bit of a rebuild on a USA One three-speed transmission. Now, a few people have requested this video and I needed to do it anyway. Uh, my third gear on my new USA One, I have two if you've been following my channel, um, the third gear seems to not be engaging anymore. The teeth are all in good shape, so it looks like the cam inside is probably uh, something wrong with it. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and take it apart. We're going to do a full maintenance on this thing. I'm going to show you how to lubricate all the lubrication points on the on the cam uh, and on the needle bearings, etc, etc. And then we're going to go ahead and do that together. So I actually took out my USA one. This is the first one today and I ran like uh, three tanks through it, shifting beautifully still. Um, I've run about 30 tanks through this thing and I haven't had to do any maintenance to the transmission aside from my usual uh, lubricating, which I usually do at about 10 tanks, uh, 10, 15 tanks. Um, on our new USA one here, which I've dubbed USA two, maybe I should change that one decal to a two. Um, this one is bro fully broken in, engine is running great, uh, however, the um, three-speed transmission, as I just mentioned, has stopped engaging in the third gear. Otherwise, it was shifting great, shifting beautifully. So we're gonna go ahead and get in there right now and uh, let's see what's going on. All right, here is our Kyosho USA One. And there's our three-speed transmission. So as I mentioned, it seems like the cam inside our third gear is probably not engaging. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. Um, the uh, transmission is spinning really nicely and the needle bearings are engaging. So I did, uh, right when I got this, I did take the transmission out and put lithium grease in there, uh, white lithium grease spray that is specifically, uh, as it's able to get in all those crevices and it's been working really well. So we're gonna do the same. Uh, in fact, we're just gonna do a little more maintenance on it, put some more of that lithium grease, but we're gonna probably have to replace this third gear cam. So to do that, first things first, you wanna remove the fuel tank because it allows you easy access to the, the screws that hold the, the whole differential uh, the center differential uh, piece in and um, just makes things a lot easier. So let's go ahead and do that. When removing the fuel tank, take note of where, which side the rubber grommets go on. There's this side does have an extra little uh, piece of fuel tubing. Once you've got the fuel tank off, as you can see, you can get easier access to these two Phillips screws here and the other two there. So get to those and then you'll be able to remove the center differential. Remove the brake grab screw and remove that entire three piece assembly. Now, the next thing you gotta do is remove this, uh, or loosen, should I say, loosen this grub screw and also loosen that back grub screw right there. Once those grub screws are loose, this assembly should slide forward here and off of the shaft. Fidget it and it will just kind of drop down out the bottom. There you go, as you can see, that grub, uh, that collar has a washer. So just remember the placement of everything. Um, I mean, obviously we'll, we'll walk through it in this video, but so uh, you know, good habit to just remember everything how it's coming out. So go ahead and just slide that off. As you can see, that's just falling down there. There is a bearing right there. It's kind of trying to come out there, but, uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and put that back on in a second. So there is our three-speed transmission that just came off of our vehicle. Uh, this is the bearing that, as I was saying, just kind of slid off. So just take note of that, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop it back right there where it was. All right, so now we've got our three-piece or three-speed transmission in hand. Um, again, remember, it's a good habit to just remember everything in what order it came out. This is the side that the chain was on. So again, there was a little brass collar there. And this is our first gear. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I just realized, I think at the beginning I was pointing as this at the third gear, but this is the first gear. Anyway, our needle bearing on there is working. As you can see, it spins one way and doesn't spin the other. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that off and that's feeling nice and smooth still, nice lubricated. As I said, I only just did that about five tanks ago, so it doesn't really even need lubrication. Um, you know, I've been running my other one at least about 20, 30 tanks and it's been without maintenance so far. So. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just put that to the side and also just remember that there was this washer there. Again, good habit to just remember all those things. Um, and now we've got our second gear. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that off gently. This just has a bushing, no bearing. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's our second gear cam. And although it looks stripped like that, uh, fear not. That doesn't mean that it's not working because there is a metal pin there 
and it's supposed to hook onto that. Now, if I'm looking closely there, it does look like there's plenty of hook point on that one. And I wasn't having any issues with it shifting into second anyway. So we're going to go ahead and leave that as is. Uh, no, 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 need to, no need to mess with that. So anyway, there's our second gear um, clutch. And we're going to pull that off. Now, also do remember there's this little shim right here. And it does very precariously go right over this part. Be careful not to bend it um because that's very easy to do so anyway pull that off and looks like again the, the needle bearings on this thing are working too working fine uh we do have plenty of lubrication on this from just about six tanks ago so we'll leave that also to the side now this is the culprit in question uh, this is our third gear so if we again i didn't even have to pull that off i get all those things i didn't really have to pull off i could have pulled it from this side but just to demonstrate to you all the different pieces i'm going to go ahead and walk through the whole rebuild so anyway we're going to go ahead and slide off our third gear this one does have a bearing in it and um yeah bearing is fine but um yeah this seems to be stripped so and i'm talking about the cam inside uh, looking at it closely, it's very hard to focus. Let me see if I can get it focused on here. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but looking at it closely, it seems to be slipping for some reason. I'm not sure why it's not engaging here. Uh, really, it should be. Um, but looking at it, it looks like there's some oil or something in there. And maybe that's from me doing so before. Uh, it looks like we had a little bit of oil and debris in there. So if that's the case, I might just have to clean this up and it may just continue working. Uh, because one thing I did do, uh, which is I lubricated the uh, the clutch here and I may have over lubricated it slightly. Um, one thing I also did was lubricate these pins here with a little bit of synthetic uh, oil. I just use Liberty oil. Uh, so that I could just have, you know, have this smooth. Now, if you take this and pull it with your finger, this is the cam finger, it should feel pretty smooth. If it feels kind of rough, that means you need to lubricate this thing. Um, and this feels really tight, honestly. It doesn't feel like it's it's good right now. Um, yeah, so I think that needs lubrication. And yeah, so the culprit here looks like there's just some some over lubrication that made its way into the cam here. And it's causing that gear to slip. So we're going to go ahead and clean that out uh, with some alcohol. And probably just reassemble it with this one and see what happens. Um, you know, if you want to change this third gear, we sure could. You know, you would pull this bearing out. And, you know, an easy way to do that is either with a flat screwdriver or some kind of a wrench. You know, you want to save this bearing or you can buy some replacement ones. But, you know, to replace it, just kind of, you know, get in there and just kind of lightly pry it in a circular motion. And also same with this. You can kind of pull it out and then reinsert it into the new third gear. So um, these, I believe, are called shield bearings. You can find them uh, on the Kyosho, you know, the Kyosho parts. But this one's working fine. So, again, I see the culprit there is it's there's a lot of some kind of wet moist debris there somehow i think i got some too much you know lubrication into there somehow as you can see there's some stuff in there so mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and clean that out with some alcohol get it bone dry uh you know having a look at the second gear one i'm not seeing any of that lubricate uh you know lubricant or whatever that was that was causing that slippage so we're going to go ahead and dry this one out the third gear and then reassemble this yes yeah, so as you can see as i'm wiping this there's uh, there's some so there's some lubricant that made its way into here and has been causing this slippage. So you know, looking at that cam, it looks fine. Um, even though it might look like it's stripped there, as you can see, you know, you'll see that plastic's kind of chewed. But there is a metal pin there, and there's plenty of point for it to hook onto. My original USA one looks exactly like this, and it's shifting flawlessly. But as you can see, too much lube here. So that is one thing. Obviously, when you're lubing this thing, be wary of that. Uh, but again, we're going to go ahead and clean this up with some alcohol and uh, we're going to go ahead and put this back on. Okay, using some alcohol and an air uh, an air nozzle, some air compressed air. I've dried these out, bone dry. I also did the second gear. I mean, there's only two cams here, so plenty of cam left on this. But it looks like, again, it was over lube and some, some lube flicked out. There was causing some slippage. Um, this is the cam and you know again check your cam fingers it's quite easy to just hook on the cam here and kind of pull it and just make sure it moves smoothly 
Uh, mine's moving smoothly. And if it's if yours is kind of moving like kind of roughly, you know, try and get some very, you know, like some synthetic Liberty oil or something like that down into that pin and then work it its way in by lifting this up and down. Um, and they should get in there and start being smooth. And anyway, so mine is shifting, you know, kind of a bit later than I'd like it to. Um, so while we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and just loosen this scrub screw, uh, maybe a quarter turn. It's already quite a ways out, but uh, just to get a slightly shorter, I'm mean, sorry, sooner to uh, shift, maybe not even a quarter turn, probably more like an eighth of a turn. So we're just going to turn it about that much. In fact, you know what? We'll go a quarter turn. Yeah, I'm going to go a quarter turn. I want a bit of an earlier change there. So this is looking good. This is our second gear cam. And yeah, this is this is really smooth here. This one should feel slightly looser to you, the second gear cam, because this one's going to engage first. And that one should feel a bit tighter. Um, you know, so again, depending on where you want your, where you want the shifting. So anyway, um, Basically, that's it. And now to lubricate those needle bearings, I know you guys have asked about that as well. Uh, there they are. They have kind of um, failed on me before, and that was when they didn't have any lube from, from factory. So my second one here, uh, before I even used it, I did lubricate them, and they're running great. But just to show you while we're in here, we may as well just give it a little dollop of... Um, of lubricant so i mean people you know everyone has their own methods some people say use this some people say use that i bought this from kyosha one-way bearing grease but i haven't used this it's a very thick almost gritty type grease and i don't really know whether or not to use it um so what i use is some um, liquid wrench a white lithium grease spray this stuff has been working like flawlessly on my other one. Uh, you don't want something that's thick like grease grease because it will make the rollers stick. But this stuff, um, you know, kind of sprays on as a liquid but then dries a nice little film of white lithium grease all over everything. And it, it spins beautifully, as I mentioned. My, set, my other one's working great. So feel free to do what you like. But again, I have been doing this um, and it's been working great for mine. So take it what you will. But there is our cam. And then what I'll do is just take a little bit of the lithium grease and just spray a bit in there. Whoops, okay, I get away too, way too much. Now, the reason I flipped that over quickly because I didn't want any uh, going into that uh, cam finger because, again, we don't want it flicking out into our gear again. Same issue will arise, so let's just wipe that off. Now, uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. So, anyway, as you can see, we've got some kind of spray of white lithium grease in there. Now, what I sometimes do is I'll just take the uh, the nozzle and I kind of just, using that, rotate. I don't even know which way it is. Yeah, rotate the rollers around a little bit. Get that lithium grease kind of all around those rollers, left and right. Uh, and that's about it. You don't need too much. This stuff goes a long way. And again, make sure that uh, this thing is bone dry on the outside. You don't want any grease or any of that stuff on this cam and especially on that cam finger so just give that a good old clean there and make sure that's dry you can also kind of pull the pull that cam finger we're using that use a napkin or something or a tissue and make sure that that the tip of it is also dry so again while we're in here we'll go ahead and lubricate our first gear needle bearing as well I just press it very lightly because we don't want too much going in there. And just like so, as you see, we've got some in there. And it's using the, the nozzle. I just rotate the needle bearings a little bit around. And just get that uh, lithium grease coating all those, those, those rollers. Again, making sure not to have any excess lubricant inside your gear. Very critical. Wipe all the excess off. And uh, there you go. There you go. As you see, nice little coating in there. Make sure that's bone dry. Okay, for reassembly, I'm going to try and make this quick. My phone on my battery is at 6%. So uh, to put it back together, I mean, again, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to put it back together the way we put it back, uh, took it apart. So our third gear, obviously the smallest one. I'm going to slip that back over here. There was no uh, washer or anything. This kind of goes directly over uh, the the bearing there. So just slide that on. Boom. But yeah, this is running pretty smoothly. No issues there. And then, as I mentioned, there is that shim here. Be very careful with that shim. That needs to go on top of our... 
uh, second gear, right, so I'm um, second gear cam like that. As you can see, there's two ridges there, so make sure you've got it aligned uh, right there. Otherwise, you can bend it. And then just slowly, I slide this on because we do have a nice white lithium grease on there now. So sliding that on there, as you can see, if you do it sideways, that shim will kind of come loose. So you've got to kind of work with it. Make sure it's kind of centered. I'm a little OCD about that. But just, yeah, make sure that shim is centered on top of that second gear cam and then just kind of close it up and there we go now as you can see i've got some lithium grease kind of on top of uh the cam here because it's on the shaft so wipe any of that off we want any excess off of there uh, so we don't have it splashing all over the place okay and once we've got your second gear cam on i'm gonna go ahead and slide our second gear right over like so and then we're going to go ahead and get our first gear. Now remember there was this washer here, it's kind of slid off to the side. The washer goes on first in between the second and first gear. And we're going to go ahead and slip that on as well. And that's it. Don't forget your little brass collar. This goes right here next to the first gear. And uh, just go ahead and reassemble it the same way that we just took it apart. Um, I would make this video a little longer to show you the whole reassembly, but again, my battery's running low. So hopefully this video helped you a little bit on how to kind of lubricate and do a little maintenance on this uh, on this transmission. As you can see, when we took it apart, I was expecting to have to replace that third gear. Um, you know, I have had that happen in the past where that cam has been, you know, stripped way too much, but it had plenty of uh, of grab point on it. Um, and it looked like there was just some lubricant that had made its way in there and also mixed with some of the uh, the plastic from the first stripping of that gear it, it kind of was it was stripping uh, slipping there so um, hopefully this should be working now I'll get some footage and we'll report back on results uh, we do have our full metal gear set for this thing and I still haven't installed that because you know it's working fine for me and uh, you know until it's you know giving me proper issues I don't see any reason to use metal gears so again, hope that video has been informative for you. If you have any issues with this uh, Kyosho USA one, put a comment below. Let me know what's going on. And again, hope this was useful for you. Take care out there. See you on the next one.